What's with a grumpy shirt, mister? It's cold out, and I get really grumpy when I'm cold. Maybe pork rinds will cheer you up. The Daily Rind. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to so it. So I just got back from the mailbox and we had a pleasant package there. Yes. The Daily Rinds. Pork Rinds. I like this packaging. It's and gorgeous. And this is like some thick plastic. Yeah, it's like artisanal pork rinds. Okay, we're just diving right into this. Yeah. Because these look like amazing. Jalapeno lime. And I've got buffalo blue. Here you go. All right. Well, we'll start with this one. Buffalo blue. As always, pork, pork rinds, rinds just... It's barnyardy. They smell barn... Ooh. I mean, they're, they're skin. They're fried skin. Those are fresh. Mm-hmm. And there is something to be said for fresh pork rinds. Those are fresh. Those are good. Honestly, not getting a whole bunch of buffalo blue flavoring, though. I taste what, what tastes like almost like a ranch. All right, this one is jalapeno lime. I got high hopes. Okay. I'm going to say this. As you take this one, I got to rinse my mouth out. Let it melt on your tongue a little bit, and you can literally suck the oil out of it. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, it is oily. This one's really awesome. <laughs> the jalapeno lime, because it's got that sour citrus and spicy. And it's not a kick you in the face hot. No. Those I would eat good. this seasoning all day long. You may want to put that back. You guys, more? I got three more flavors. Mmm. So. Cinnamon toast. Hot and spicy. Wow. Hickory smoked cheddar. Cinnamon toast. I want to leave that for last because it's like dessert. I want to leave that for last. What but if we like can't taste anything? This is going to be burn our face off. So let's go with this and have that one in between. So, okay. no, no, no. Well, let's do this one first. Yep. I'm just opening it. So, like, can this compete? With, with stupid hot. Stupid hot. That's a that's a very lofty competitor. It's still barnyardy. Ooh, but I smell that pepper. Wow. Ooh. Very red. I like that. Mmm. Good flavor. Let me wait a minute. It's got the back throat heat. It is not it's, as It's it's nowhere not as hot. near stupid hot. Nowhere no. near it. But it's definitely got enough heat to slow you down, which I, is why I like stupid hot. I can feel myself getting warm underneath my eyes. Like you can feel yourself like your temperature rising. That would be my go-to. I think so yeah. far, this is the most flavorful. Oh no, I like the lime one. Really? Jalapeno lime. This to me, I'm getting, the, they're all good so far, but this is the most flavor for me. What it is, is that the pork rind itself is super fresh and it's maintaining itself center stage with the seasoning. Yeah. You got a big one. I got a big one. Mmm. Wow. Wow. I really like that one. And I don't usually like smoke stuff. That's not as, it's not as gamey smelling. But it's got a smoky flavor, but that cheese is nice. Right? It almost softens it. Isn't that funny how sometimes the seasoning changes the, I mean, they're all pork rinds. It's the same product, but that seasoning just makes it more like softer. They are greasy. I like that. 
Good and greasy. Okay. Rinse out. Here we go. Do we want to try this without a dessert pork knowing rind. if there's sugar in here? A dessert pork rind. I'm going to assume the best. We're going to hope the best, right? Let's just How bad could it be? We what? seriously have not looked at the ingredients of these. No. We really try not to. I'm going to hope probably the best. not the smartest thing in the world for us to no, do. No, it's probably not. Here we go. Still gamey. Mmm. Touch of sweetness. Wow. Not, you, it's not almost, a lot of cinnamon. It's nice. It's almost like oh, cereal. Right? Doesn't it feel like a, a cereal? Dulled down, dulled down cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, it tastes almost like a cereal. One more. Or like a churro. There you go. That's yeah. what it is. It's a churro. That is good. But not an overly sweet churro. Mm mm. Very nice. Wow. Five things. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number okay. one. Uh, there's no sense in doing the ingredients on all of these. This we'll is the one I'm most. Look at them. Concerned of. So, I don't have my glasses, but that's okay. I can help. I got it. The ingredients, pork skin, lard. Lard. There yeah. we go. So they're frying it in their own fat. Cinnamon, butter, which is cream and salt, allulose. All right. Stevia and monk fruit extract. Way to go, Daily Rinds. So, I'm just one of the bigger thing I want to check out is the other stuff because a lot of sea flavored ones have maltodextrin in them. Dehydrated jalapeno, garlic, dehydrated lime, and spices. Garlic, chili powder, and spices. No bad ingredients. Okay, so, okay. So this here's is the, the cheese. Here's the, this is the one, right? Pork skin lard. Romano and cheddar cheese, past, which is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt enzymes, sodium phosphate, annatto lactic acid, hickory, smoked salt, and spices. I so, am impressed. I'm impressed with all of the ingredients. Yeah, way to go. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? You want to got this? Sure. So there's four servings per bag, which is going to be difficult because they're delicious. Two. Right? 80 calories per serving, five grams of fat, eight grams of protein. There's no total carb, at, at least in the jalapeno lime. One in the, uh, whatchamacallit. Totally worth it. Which is gonna be your allulose. Zero in all the rest. I will say this, it, they all have a carb in them. Let, let's, if they got spices, there's gonna be, figure there's a carb. If you eat this whole bag, you're probably getting two carbs. Which is or not close terrible. To so, but I don't, don't, I don't want somebody to think, and I'm not saying they're trying to cheat you. No. That it's that spices have carbs, but it's like in a quarter of a teaspoon, there's less than a carb, so they can put zero. So I'm going to say you're probably dealing with one to two carbs in the whole bag. Yeah. So it's just something to think about if you really want to nitpick your carbs and count your spices and stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty impressed. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Number three. How does it taste? Incredible. They're really good. Okay, so cinnamon toast is, um, I think it's really good, but it's this more of a, fun. I'm gonna do this for a dessert. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that for a dessert. And I'm gonna do all of the rest of these like with my meal. Okay, so I'm gonna have them like on top of a salad or I wanna do a taco bowl and I'm gonna like make, give me the crunch. That's dessert. This is with my meal for me. Order of best to worst. Oh, okay. I'm going to go take out the cinnamon toast. Because it's totally different. That's my favorite. Then we're going to go jalapeno lime. Then we're going to go cheddar cheese. Then we're going to go buffalo blue. None of them are bad, but those are the ones where I feel like, where's the drink that's in the way? Okay. Those are the ones that I think are like most flavor to least flavor. So this is most flavor. This is least flavor. That in my in my opinion. If I am ordering, it's mine's gonna look like this. Okay. Yeah, because this this lime was very interesting. Nice and citrusy. 
This, I didn't taste much of anything. So we both agree that it's not bad, but it's got the least amount of like flavor. This probably has the most amount of flavor. This, the smoked cheese really? one for me. But, um, but I don't know. I just really like this citrus lime. But here's my thing. These pork rinds taste super fresh. Like I cannot believe I'm not just having them handed right out of the kettle right. to me. Well, you know what? Freshness usually costs. So let's take a look at number, number four. four. How much do they cost? So I do have their website up here. And I was just looking. Uh, it looks like we have all of the different flavors here. They send them to us. And you can get a couple of different options here. So you can get four bags. So four of these bags. Oh, okay. 16 bucks. So that's $4 a bag. That is not bad at all. These are artisanal pork rinds. Yeah, and the packaging alone, that's what you can tell. This is some, I, I cannot explain it. You know, no way you're gonna be able to see really on video how thick this is. This is like thicker than like Ziploc bags thick, right? This, this is, is not like a, a potato chip bag. This is a bag that my grandmother would wash out once you're done with the pork rinds and see if she can't use it again for something else. Yeah. Now they also have a six pack and an eight pack. It looks like you save a little bit of money on an eight pack. It's $30 for eight, so that's like $3.75. So you save a, a couple of bucks on that. So that's how you can buy it. Now also, you can buy a Flavor Blast. Aww. So the Flavor Blast is 20 bucks and you get one of every bag. So if you want to try them all, 20 bucks, that's a five good... bags. So that's again, $4 a bag. That's so a good deal. I'm super impressed. Now this company sent this to us. I don't know. Thank we you. have reached out to them and asked them for a coupon code. We're not affiliated with them. We don't make any money off of them. If they do give us a coupon code, it will be down in the description along with the link if you're interested in purchasing these. Yeah. But overall price, I think they're right on par with some of the better pork rinds we've tried, including some of our favorite ones. I mean, they're, they're, and I think they taste better than all of them. They're really good. Yeah. So finally, number five, would we recommend these? Highly. Highly. I'll tell you what totally like impressed me with this company. The is, packaging. It, well, for the packaging, that's awesome. The, the crispness of the pork rind and the butteriness is awesome. Mm -hmm. But for me, I was blown away that they did not go to wonky ingredients to give me a sweet version of a pork rind. Yes, yeah, I'm so, uh, no sugar, like I'm, I'm impressed. We were ready to do a little bit of forgiveness. Yeah. Right? We were ready. Like, we were positioned to be like, hey, if this tastes good, we may allow a little bit of wonkiness into our life. And they don't have any wonkiness. Yeah, no, I'm super impressed. I highly recommend them. I think they taste good. They are definitely super fresh. I love the packaging. And they're these bags are not cheap. I'm telling no. you, like, and again, we like pork rinds, but usually they come in those, like, potato chip type bags. And if you don't get them fresh, they're very quickly going to be stale. I've, I've had it a few times where we've had pork rinds and they sit and we still eat them, but they're not optimal. And you can tell this is going to hold that freshness. It's like a Ziploc type bag, but thicker than, almost like thicker than like your ceiling bags. Like when you get those vacuum yes. seal bags. And if you are trying to actually get four legitimate servings out of this, you're- Good luck. This is, yeah, but for taste, not because you couldn't seal the bag and oh, actually yeah, do absolutely. it. Like you could actually get four servings out of this and every time you go back into the bag, not have like stale pork rinds. If you can get four legitimate servings out of this. Yeah. I want you to send us a text message or leave, let us give us a comment down below because I'm going to be highly impressed if anybody can stick their hand in this bag and not at minimum cut it down to two servings. Like there's just no way. They're I don't so think tasty. anybody's getting more than two servings out of this bag. After you taste including the first myself. one, myself. After you taste the first one, you're going to start negotiating yeah. a little bit more. Nobody is opening this bag and it's going to be still have anything in it tomorrow. Your, and it's just not going to happen. Your best shot is go with the hot. Yeah. If that could slow you down at all. But everything is so delicious that, yeah, you're going to want to eat the whole bag. That's going to be our video for today. Let us know if you've ever tried any of these pork rinds from the Daily Rinds. And if you have, let us know what your favorite flavor is. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have an entire playlist of product review videos, which you can find linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Get some pork rinds. Subscribe to our channel. Click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we taste something amazing, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.